This guy makes me in the face. Look, it's all over my sunglasses. Just makes me in the face. These people are just, we're threatening all of us with them, these dogs. And she, that woman over there, she was charging them and it bit somebody right in the face. The dog has blood in its nose and its mouth. And she's still standing here threatening you. Them. Why are you letting their, her dog go out to the protesters? It's covered in blood. Over there, with that dog. I was like walking, throw the dog on me straight, even without any warning, you know? Look at this, look at this. The dog, yeah, the dog did it, you know? Look at this. The Dakota Access Pipeline would carry about 500,000 barrels of crude per day from North Dakota's Bakken oil field to Illinois. The pipelines face months of resistance from the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe and members of nearly 100 more tribes from across the U.S. and Canada. The Standing Rock Sioux Tribe has also sued the U.S. government over the pipeline's construction. On Friday, lawyers for the tribe filed documents showing how the very land where Dakota Access would bulldoze Saturday was, in fact, a tribal burial site. Today, a federal judge in Washington, D.C., will decide whether to grant a temporary restraining order prohibiting further construction of the Dakota Access pipeline in the area near the Standing Rock Sioux Reservation, until the same judge rules on the tribe's lawsuit against the U.S. government, which is expected by Friday.